Hello everyone and welcome to a series where I use a full team of six shiny Pokemon that I bred myself in Pokemon Crystal and I use all of those Pokemon and I take them into the gym leader castle. The only Pokemon that is the exception for being bred would be the Gyarados because that is the uh, free shiny Gyarados you get when you play generation two. Uh, but everything else I've bred myself and uh, today's episode we're going to focus on Cianwood gym leader Chuck. So this is probably going to be a pretty short video, but that's just because there is not a, a whole lot to do uh, when it comes to uh, this gym. So I may actually do uh, the fifth and sixth uh, gym because I believe there is no other battles. I don't think they added anything to uh, the sixth gym as well. So we'll see. But there should be a lot of fighting type Pokemon, and this is a really interesting Pokemon team. Him on top, him on Lee. Doug Trio, okay. So definitely Vaporeon because of Surf and the fact of Acid Armor is really useful. So Vaporeon to start. Uh, let's go for uh, Charizard. Does Gyarados have anything? We can go for Gyarados too. Let's switch, switch it up. Alrighty, so it started off with Hitmonlee, so we're definitely going to go for Acid Armor first turn. So I know it's going to be faster than me every turn. Wow. That wasn't bad. Okay. This is why Vaporeon is just so amazing. I feel pretty confident about this gym. Did you, did you see that? Do you see how much like acid armor buffed me up? Oh, oh, we got flinched. Oh, oh, that's not okay. I mean, it's still not a lot of damage, but we also have the berry, which will take effect right now. There we go. There's our surf. All right, let's go Vaporeon. Oh. It used a gold berry to restore its HP. Sweet, there we go. Sparks are flying from both competitors. Oh, that flinch like totally mattered. It really did. Oh, it missed. Critical hit. Critical hit. Critical hit. Oh, come on. It's a fierce battle. It's okay. It missed again. Yes. I thought it'd be fun to, to switch it up. We didn't really have to go for Ice Beam, but it was cool, right? It was interesting, right? That's what I'm talking about. All right, all right. Uh, we'll be fine. Uh, yeah, let's just go for Surf. We are faster. Okay. Critical hit. Critical hit. Wow. Oh, that's right. I forgot that the whole uh, concept of the fifth gym battle here is a lot of one hit KO moves. It's literally garbage. Because, yeah. How did I forget about that? Like, I, like, now this is bringing back so many bad memories <laughs> of just how many times I had to suffer through just getting hit by a one hit KO move and it always connecting. Oh, it did. That's for sure. It did. There's only one Pokemon left to come up. 
But yeah, this is the the shiny Gyarados from the Lake of Rage. So five of the six Pokemon I have bred for, but either way, it's a full shiny team. Plus, this is the first time I've actually used all of... Uh, I've had a full shiny team for this challenge. And uh, I just felt like, you know, you kind of have to use the shiny Gyarados. You just, it's kind of like mandatory, like you should. Wow. Okay, sweet. So apparently even with Gyarados's super low special attack stat, the four times effective surf was perfect. Awesome. I am terrified of the next battle. I'm just letting you know that now because uh, it literally could just be one hit KO moves after another. Yeah, I'm not excited about it. Uh, I'm not excited about it. That's today's common question of the day. Do you like one hit KO moves? Like, do you think they should be in Pokemon? Do you like them? Doesn't matter what generation of Pokemon, just do you like one hit KO moves? Do you think they're interesting? Do you think... Just what do you think about them? I don't, I, I don't even want to just have the, uh, the the fine details just tell me your honest opinion <laughs> tell me what you really think so uh i want to say polyrath has a one hit ko move i think i think all of them do or most of them do i mean i could look this up but like that you know takes away the fun uh so so the problem here is i want to use jolteon but if sand slash comes out then I'm in a very bad spot. So we are going to start with Jolteon because of Toxic. So we're going to play it safe. Because it could easily switch into Saiyan Slash and then I just waste a turn. And then I just basically lose a uh, Jolteon just because. Uh, so Vaporeon is definitely a must. Uh... I don't know what to do here. Yeah, because a lot of my Pokemon are weak to this. Uh, I want us to hit Monchan. Probably has Thunder Punch. That, even though it's like a special attack in this game, it still can be problematic, right? Uh, I think it's just Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Charizard. interesting machoke is the first pokemon to come out and i'm pretty sure it has something well you know what we're just gonna go for thunderbolt okay cool so it probably has earthquake so jolteon i really hope you can do it right now it is so much damage earthquake dynamic punch i just want you to know if you do not know about dynamic punch it has a 50 percent accuracy rate the amount of times this will connect is unreal oh well i just lost jolteon literally because of wait what oh i believe jolteon has the bright powder oh well that's a waste of a turn why didn't you go for earthquake the first turn that's so that's just so weird. Why? Why wouldn't you go for Earthquake? That's just so weird. I'm upset. Uh, this isn't looking good. If that dynamic punch lands again, I'm going to be super upset. All right, so we're going for acid armor. And I'm faster, so that's really good. I hate you so much. Good. I feel like it's going to keep going for a dynamic punch. It re it's really going to want to confuse me. So, since we are faster, uh, the defenses are now up. 
Yep, it's gonna keep going for dynamic punch. Wow. Unbelievable. I hate it here. I hate it here. I, I, I just hate it. Yes. Way to go, Vaporeon. Nice. So how many dynamic punches did it use? What, four? Yeah, so it's literally like two for four right now. It's like, just why? <laughs> why? Why am I so unlucky? Okay. So this doesn't help me at all. I'm terrified of what this Polyrat's going to do. I mean, I could go for Bite to flinch it, but I feel like that's just not necessary. Oh, it has Psychic. It's faster than me, too? Oh, well, that did nothing. I mean, I could go for Ice Beam on the, on the off chance that it freezes the Polyrath. Not a bad idea, to be honest. Yes, I'm not confused anymore. Yes. Uh, yeah, I guess Surf is the way to go. Yeah. Miss. Miss. I hate it here. Why? Like I said, I thought one hit KO moves are the problem. No, it's dynamic punch. That is unbelievable. Yeah, there's a reason why we literally could not bring Porygon 2. If any of those dy uh, dynamic punches connected, yeah, have fun. Wow, that did literally nothing. That was actually kind of cool. Can I get a critical hit? Is that allowed? Yes! Way to go, Vaporeon. I'm so nervous about this. I mean, I could switch into Charizard, but I feel like it's just gonna switch, you know? Like, either way, like, I'm kinda stuck in this predicament. And it's gonna keep going for Psychic as its safe play, right? Oh, Vaporeon's done. Yep. That did nothing. That's so interesting. Yeah, my Porion's gone. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Charizard, I really am, uh... Trying to put all my faith in you right now. I have to go for fly. Like, it's literally, like, my only option. Could go for fire blast and the off chance that it just works. Dynamic punch. So it did not switch out. All right. So that's good. Maybe they don't have Saiyan Slash. Are you serious? I swear. Bro, are you serious? For a second there, I thought I hit myself and I was like, uh... Charizard, how could you miss? How could you miss the fly? I hate you so much. Yep, I'm losing this. That Hydro Pump's connecting. It's literally hitting all of these inaccurate moves. 
Yep. Wow, unreal. <laughs> Welcome to Pokemon Stadium 2, where moves that should probably never connect as much, they do. <laughs> oh, I hate it here so much. That was literally garbage. Ah, oh, and it had Granbull. Ah, oh, we would have been fine. There's no reason why we should have lost that battle. That literally just came down to... That literally just came down to... I got literally hit by every dynamic punch in the world. Wow. This is where Gyarados just gets to body slam everything. I want to see what Hitmon top looks like as a shiny. It looks super cool. So Gyarados is faster, so that's good. Yes. Okay, this is a good start. Triple kick. Yeah, this is going to do like nothing. Critical hit. <laughs> Gyarados is like, what are you even doing? <laughs> Gyarados didn't even flinch. <laughs> what a savage. <laughs> it's fully paralyzed. You love to see it. <laughs> yes. Way to go, Gyarados. Way to go. What Pokemon will appear next? Oh, it's Nidorino. Hi there. How you doing? The is two for two. Yes. Yes. It healed itself with a paralysis. Oh. Yeah, take that garbage somewhere else. It's literally garbage. I hate it. There it goes. That's it. That's it. I hate it here. Hate it. I hate it here. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> uh, I don't understand. Hey, Jilteon. You are so cool. Oh, I'm sure there's a big difference. I'm sure. Way to go. Yep. Well, you know how I was saying how Jolteon really isn't that useful here? Yeah, Jolteon is just not useful here. Oh, and I missed the toxic. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, that's just mean. You won't go for Earthquake, but you're going to keep going for Horn Drill just because you can. I literally hate it here. <laughs> Awesome. You love to see it. Hey, you want to see something cool? <laughs> Let's go for thunder. <laughs> what now? That caused no damage at all. <laughs> wow. Oh, that missed too. I wonder I wonder if what I, I think there's not that many uh power points for horn drill though, unfortunately. So I don't think I can I don't think I can stall it out for the poison. <laughs> awesome. 
Yeah, there's literally nothing I can do. Jolteon's like useless. Like electric moves do not hit a ground type Pokemon. So Jolteon is just here to be here. I'm impressed. The fact that Jolteon actually lived that was pretty impressive. That was actually really cool. Why does it keep going for Additional big? A hot battle is you know what's really funny? <laughs> this. Hi, Vaporeon. How you doing? <laughs> Watch this. Ow, additional damage. <laughs> the Rhyhorn was like, enough. No more horn drills. They probably honestly ran out of power points. That's probably why I had to go for uh, Dig, you know? It's weird that I didn't have Earthquake, but whatever. That's fine. The real challenge is uh, Chuck. Hey there, Chuck. You and your dynamic punches, Chuck. I'm actually going to start off with Gyarados just because we can mimic. I want to see if I can actually use that because this this would be the time, right? Like this would be the time to, uh, to use mimic and then see what happens. I mean, everything will be fine if one hit KO moves don't exist. Primeape, okay. Well, it's definitely faster than me. I don't know what it's going to go for, but I'm going to mimic just to see. Cool, dynamic punch. Dude, my Gyarados is literally useless now. Awesome. I just want to see like what this would do. Why is it going for headbutt? Oh, flinch. Probably. Oh, I'm so, I'm so utterly gone. <laughs> you see how much damage that was? Oh my gosh. I can't catch a break right now. The dynamic punches, man. Yep. Now we're getting flinched. This is garbage. Garbage. Seismic toss. Yep. That'll do it. This is ridiculous. I'm faster than Primeape, so that's good. That's really good. We're gonna go for Double Team. So I can avoid these dynamic punches. Awesome. Double team is so cool with a shiny Pokemon. It's just, that's so interesting. Bro, are you serious? <laughs> it's, it's a 50% move. I'm two up in evasion. What do you mean? <laughs> I hate it here. Uh, I hate it so much. 
What else can I do? I hate it here. I hate it. Why? Yeah, it should have been missing every single turn. Unreal. Wow. Okay. I always forget that when you use fly, it doesn't say anything. It just kind of, the animation just like happens. Come on, Charizard. Come on, the seismic toss. Yeah, like. I love how I went for double team and it's only really effective against the dynamic punch after the fact. All right, well, here we go. Three HP, the dream. I don't think this will do it, but let's hope, right? Can you miss? The right. Of course hit. not. Why would it miss? <laughs> no <sighs> yep, we're not winning this either. Only one Unfortunately. I should have just went for body slam with Gyarados. Should have just went for body slam. Unreal. I mean, if it's got Poliwrath, like, which I'm sure it does, I'm pretty sure Chuck brought his Poliwrath. Like, there's not much we can do. Literally nothing we can do if there's a critical hit. Are we flinched too? Yep. Mm-hmm. Of course we are. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You want to talk about bad luck? This is Pokemon Stadium 2. <laughs> Welcome. When a primate is just so destructive, unreal. There's nothing we can really do here. The only thing I could hope for is I could freeze it. That's like literally the only hope I have of winning. Yeah, it's going to keep going for dynamic punch and it's going to hit. There's no way it doesn't. Yep. <laughs> Why? <laughs> why do I why do I play this game? <laughs> Unreal. Actually no. This would be the most clutch play ever if I actually froze the Polyrath. No. And there goes the battle. A psychic blast. That's a hit. There are no more remaining Pokemon. And there goes the battle. Why, Chuck? I literally could have brought Jolteon. Literally could have brought Jolteon. I guess I have to bring Jolteon. I think I just like, have to do it. This is where if I had a Charizard with wing attack, 
it would be more useful because then we wouldn't have to rely on the fact of fly takes two turns to hit on top of the fact that it can miss what wing attacks less powerful but again the accuracy is always there so i hate it here by the way we're gonna go for flamethrower just to be safe Oh, wow. That shouldn't do anything because that was a special attack. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's it's literally heated. Literally, you know, because fire Pokemon. <laughs> uh, I'm so salty. Why is this so difficult? It's literally two battles. I, I, I hate it. I hate it so much. I don't understand. I don't understand. We're going to go for Fire Blast just because why not? I want to see if this takes out a Sea King. Probably won't, but it'd be really cool if it's connected. It did. That's actually a decent amount of damage. So can we just talk about every time I've battled this dude, I always lose a Pokemon. Like it happens every time. Every single time. The one hit KO moves connect, the dynamic punches connect. Can we just like talk about that? You know, can we just talk about that? How ridiculous this is. Way to go, Gyarados. Way to go. For a second, I literally thought that connected and my like my stomach dropped. <laughs> I was like, well, <laughs> I mean, that's fine. That pretty much guarantees that I can like take it out. Yeah, that's fine. If anything, it just made it easier, right? You know? Oh my gosh. This is, uh, this is not fun. This is not fun. Hey, let's go. Well, this is easy, so that's cool. Well, that was a uh, easy victory, so I'll take what I can get, you know. All right, Chuck. And there goes the battle, battle, battle. Make sure you like and subscribe for more Pokemon Stadium salty videos. Sponsored by SMK Plays Games. <laughs> this isn't a sponsored video. It's just, it's not. It's, it's a joke. Right. <laughs> uh, third time's the charm. Literally. Imagine if like any of my Pokemon literally had the move charm and I could just severely like lower dynamic punches like attacking power. I mean, honestly, what would honestly change this whole entire uh, battle is if I literally uh, gave uh, Charizard a berry so that if it gets confused, it takes away the confusion, which we may have to do if we just can't do things right. So if anything, we may have to do that, but I believe. So Primeape's a problem because it's faster than my Gyarados, right? So that that is an actual issue, which we don't like. But... Body Slam is really nice. So we're going to do the same exact thing. So Gyarados, Vaporeon, Charizard. As much as I would love to bring Jolteon, 
It hasn't brought Saiyan Slash any of the times. It really hasn't. But I just feel like Gyarados is a better option. So. Chuck. Alright, it's Primeape yet again. So what we're not going to do is we're not going to go for Mimic. We are going to go for Body Slam. Here's the first move. Is that like guaranteed if he says that, if that like, if that text box like shows up, is that like guaranteed that he's going to hit? Unreal. Now it's going to just go for uh, the flinch. Yes. What's this? Great hit. It would have been really nice if it uh, paralyzed the primate, but apparently that's not allowed. What's that? That did little damage. Yes. That's upsetting, not gonna lie. A hot battle is unfolding. Seismic toss, the safe play. Awaking, seismic toss. <sighs> oh, has no left. I really want a Gyarados for Poliwhirl. Sorry, Poliwrath. So, what will be the next Pokemon? The next Pokemon is ready. The big problem here is the fact of the the polyrath has hydro pump it doesn't have surf so me going for double team is a smart play thank you so i feel like this is gonna want to like I, I i like have to do this with my current team setup i have to make charizard more evasive like, i have to go for the double team right we have to because these dynamic punches are continuously hitting. It literally doesn't matter what I do. Unbelievable. It doesn't matter what I do. It, they always connect in some way, shape, or form. It, it just, like, doesn't matter. Like, I'm trying to avoid dynamic punch, but here it is, always connecting. There we go. I am stressed. <laughs> this is just something else. All right, well, I have to go for fly. I, st I still have the two up in ev uh, evasion, so it's going to go for dynamic punch. And I'm pretty sure it's going to go for dynamic punch next turn as well. So critical hit. It's not even good enough to take it out in two hits. So that's good. Come on, Charizard. I believe. Charizard MVP. Let's go. I think it wouldn't waste its dynamic punches when it knows I'm going to go for fly. You would think. Okay. I think it I think it's uh it's ran out. I think it's used all five, I wanna say. If not, this is the turn it wastes the fifth one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the last one. 
Come on, Charizard. Come on. Come on, let's go. No. The focus band. No. Are you serious? <laughs> What was the point of the double team if it was never effective? Like, what was the actual point? <laughs> like, I don't understand. Well, it doesn't have dynamic punch. It definitely wasted all of them. Yeah, we had to go for acid armor. Oh, yeah, big time. Ah, it raised its defense. One well, at least I can't be confused anymore, so that's cool. The only problem here is he still has a focus band, which is garbage. Yes. <laughs> yes. Take your seat, Polyrath. Please and thank you. Well, it definitely is going to have dynamic punch. That's for sure. But we are for sure faster than Machoke, so that is also good. I... <laughs> oh my gosh! You have got to be kidding me, bro. See, it's like I could have Psychic on Porygon 2, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be outsped. That's like half the problem. And like one dynamic punch will absolutely do it. So, yeah. It's like not even worth it. All right, Jolteon. Bright Powder. Actually, no, Vaporeon. Because it's literally like the most used Pokemon I have. Uh, let's see. Uh, where's the confusion one? Correct. And then, uh, Gyarados, I will give you, uh, Focus Band or Quick Claw? I would say Quick Claw, just to guarantee it goes first. We, like, have to change it up here. We just, like, have to. That's fine. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use Golem at all. It's just kind of there to be there. Leftovers is fine. And then Porygon 2. Uh, yeah. That's fine. I don't expect to use this team combination down the road it's just very apparent that I have to do something different because I constantly keep losing so that's I'm just kind of over it honestly uh yeah we're gonna just go for the safe play Gyarados having Quick Claw is definitely going to help here. Hello, shiny Gyarados. All 
All right. Well, it's seeking. Uh, we all know what seeking is gonna go for, uh, which would be uh, horn drill. Right? Yep. 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 Let's go, Gyarados. Come on. Yes. I'll take that instead of the the uh, paralysis. Works for me. Itmon Lee. Okay. Still gonna go for body slam. That's fine. Yes! Yes! You know what's so funny is every time I thought I needed to bring, uh, that I didn't bring Jolteon, it, it just never, it like never has Sand Slash. I don't think any of the times I've battled the, uh, I've battled Chuck, did he have Sand Slash. This is like the best battle I think I've ever had. Like so far, this is amazing. Hello? What is going on? Wow, this is literally the best battle we've ever had. Gyarados, you having Quick Claw, I feel like easily changed the whole dynamic. Easily. Awesome. Cool. All right, let's uh, try it again. All right, here we go. The Primeape has always been the starting Pokemon. It's just, it just, it is what it is, right? So Quick Claw, the Berry, and then Vaporeon has the Bright Powder. So... We're not going to get health back, but the dynamic punch should just not hit as much. So a part of me wants to bring Jolteon just to bring Jolteon, right? I'm not telling. I brought Jolteon. Prime Mape. Yet again. Hello. No Sand Slash. All right. Why does it always hit? I just, like, don't understand how it's just so accurate when it's literally a coin toss. Thunder. Primeape, take a seat. Please. So this is going really good. Bramble. Okay. Don't really have anything for a Gramble, to be honest. Oh. 
Well, that was sweet. <laughs> Why does this face do that? <laughs> oh, it just goes for strength. Wow. No way. It's like bottom part of its jaw, like super extended out. <laughs> wow. What a turn of events. Polyrath? Is it, is it Polyrath? Please tell me it's Polyrath. Please. I want you to suffer. I want you to suffer. Jolteon. Let's go. Of course you missed. Of course. Can you miss too? Why? I'm not allowed to have nice things. I could have just gone for Thunderbolt. But like... We've barely used Jolteon, so it's like... Why not? You know? <sighs> Should have just went with Thunderbolt. This is why Thunder is just unreliable. I hate it here. So that's good. We get a free setup, which is nice. Yeah, because it's pretty much just going to go for Dynamic Punch or Psychic, so... I'm going to just keep going for Surf. Ooh, that's... You're 0 for 2. 0 for 2 so far, Polyrath. That's actually pretty solid damage for it being resisted. That's... That's a decent chunk. Of course. It's a good thing Vaporeon's attack stat is just so terrible and our defense is like raised up that me being confused like literally does nothing. Also, Polyrath having Psychic against my Vaporeon just doesn't do anything. Yes! Okay! So that was uh, amazing. I just need to get this Polyrath to at least, at least half health no, that didn't connect. What's this? like this should put it right under half that didn't accomplish much. yeah so Charizard should be able to easily take out this Polyrath now and I want to say it it's just used all of its dynamic punches yep and it missed yes finally Oh, come on. Just give me the W. Just give me the W. It's like, hey, here's your critical hit, Steve. By the way, it still is not enough. Finally. I didn't even use Charizard. Literally, the biggest factor that changed everything was Jolteon. Literally just having Jolteon on the team. Unbelievable. Well, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, the salt fest of this episode. Uh, I didn't think that this was going to be this bad, uh, but this is why Pokemon Stadium is difficult. Uh, obviously, if I had a Psychic Pokemon on my team or just some type of Psychic move, uh, that would have made this a lot different. But currently, this current Pokemon team does not have a Psychic type user. So, yeah. But that is when, you know, when I have an, a different Shiny team, I could bring them, you know, to the Gym Leader Castle and we can try again. But that's going to be, uh, you know, 
way down the road when I have more available, you know, shiny Pokemon and, and whatnot. So next time, uh, we're most likely going to take on Jasmine and then we're going to take on the Team Rocket stuff, I think, all in one episode. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful episode of Pokemon Stadium 2 with shiny Pokemon, and I will see you next time for more Pokemon Stadium 2 or Let's Play content on this channel. Like and subscribe for more. See you next time. Bye-bye.